last class we had learned about percentage percentage profit and loss okay so now we are going to go on to the next topic and that is simple interest now today we will see what of you know that whenever we travel by this uh, city buses what do we do we are using the city bus for our purpose the buses that's not good to us so since we are using the bus we pay them the fare for using the bus we pay the money that is called the fare bus fare sometimes you are coming by rickshaws to school you are paying the rickshaw you are paying the driver for using his service for using his vehicle you are paying him every month in the same way most of us are living in rented houses now the house does not belong to us the house belongs to someone else but we are using their house since we are using their house we need to pay them some amount and that money what we pay the owner is called the rent what we have paid them now in the same way when we go to the bank all of you might have gone to the bank isn't it you might have seen the people working there but we don't know what they pay now when we say bank we only think of money now all of us we go there we keep our money in the bank we deposit in the bank because we can't keep it at home when we keep it at home you know what will happen anyway we may lose it off or it will get uh, robbed or something will happen so for the sake of safety say we deposit the money in our bank now now money what we deposit in the bank the bank uses our money they use it for various purposes for giving out loans to others so they are using our money so since they are using our money their bank pays us some extra money for using our money so that money what the bank gives us is the is called the simple interest now the money what we deposited in the bank for example i deposit rupees 1000 in the bank this money what i have deposited is called the principal principal it is called the principal and it is represented by the letter p it is represented by the letter p like this okay and the money what the bank gives us is nothing but the simple interest it is called the simple interest it is called the simple interest denoted by the letter i now we can give the money in the bank for one year for two years for three years or any amount of time we can keep it the time for which we deposit the money in the bank is the is called the duration is called the time it is represented by the letter t let us suppose we keep the money in the bank for 2 years so the time here is 2 years now there is a particular um, interest which the bank pays us like it is for 1 year the interest on 100 rupees for 1 year that is called the rate of interest rate of it is called the rate of interest represented by the, by the letter r it can it is represented in percentage let us suppose it is 3% per annum per annum per annum means for one year per is what annum means year so for one year for 100 rupees the bank pays us 3 rupees interest this is how it is being calculated so we have the principal we have the time we have the rate of interest Now to calculate this, there is a formula to calculate the simple interest, and that is I is equal to P into T into R upon 100. This is the formula to calculate the simple interest. Okay. Now here we calculate the simple interest, and then we will see move to the next step. Now here you see according to this example, the Principal is here rupees one thousand into into time is here two years time two into rate of interest is three 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 percent per annum okay divided by this hundred which is already there in the formula okay so now. 
Now we will simplify. You can say two zeros in the denominator, only two zeros in the numerator. So now we will multiply. Uh, 10 into 2 is 20, 20 into 3 is 60. So you will get here rupees 60. So at the rate of 3% for 2 years, for 1000 rupees, the bank is giving you 60 rupees. Simple interest. The interest is 60 rupees. Now you have deposited 1000, isn't it? You have deposited 1000. So after 2 years, the bank is giving you 60 rupees. So how much is there in your account now? How much is there? You have deposited 1000, isn't it? So 1000 plus the bank gave you 60 rupees. So in your account, now you will have rupees 1060. So what did you do here? You added the principal and the simple interest. So when you add the principal and the simple interest, that is called 1060 is the amount. It is the amount represented by the letter A. So 1060 is called the amount. It is represented by the letter A. So amount, amount is A, is A and the formula to find the amount is we added the principal and the interest. So it is principal plus the simple interest. So there are two formulas which you must remember. One is to find the one, one is to find the simple interest. This is the formula. I is equal to P into T into R upon 100 and one more formula is amount is equal to principal plus interest. These are the two formulas which you have to remember. So after this we will learn how to work out sums on simple interest. So children, today we will learn how to work out the sums connected to simple interest. Now as you all know, first you draw the columns. Draw the columns first and you have to write the statements. Now here they are given rupees 3500 is given at 7% per annum rate of interest. Now this rupees 3500 is the sum or the principal. So the first statement is principal. Principal P is equal to rupees 3500. Okay? And then rate of interest. See here it is. Rate of interest. Rate of interest is R is equal to 7% per annum. Then you have here, find the amount which will be received at the end of 2 years. 2 years is the time, the duration, okay, the period. So time T is equal to 2 years. Now here they have asked you to find the amount. Now before finding the amount, we need to find the simple interest. Now what is the formula to find the simple interest? Now you all know I is equal to P into T into R upon 100. Okay, now here we go. You write, now you have your P. P is the principal. Principal is 3500. So we write here 3500. Then multiplication sign into time. T is time. Time is 2 years. Into R is 7% per annum. 7. Divided by upon. See here there is 100, so write that 100 here. Okay. Now here in the denominator you have two zeros. We cancel two zeros in the denominator. You cancel two zeros in the numerator. So you have here you have 35 into 2 into 7. Okay. So 35 into 2 is 70. 35 into 2 is 70. Okay. 
70 into 7. How much is 70 into 7? 70 into 7. 0. 7 7 is 49. Isn't it? So here you will get interest is equal to rupees 490. So the next step here is interest. Interest. What you got, what you found out, the simple interest is rupees 490. This is the simple interest. The interest for two years at the rate of 7% per annum. Now they have asked you in this sum, find the amount. So if they ask you interest, you stop here. Now here in this sum they have asked you to find the amount. So next step what you have to do is, Next step is amount. What is the formula to find the amount? Amount is the principal plus the interest. So that is principal plus the interest. Okay. And what is the principal P? It is 3500. So 3500 plus interest you have found out as 490. So you have to add these two. So you will get here how much? 3500 plus 490. How much is it? See 3500 plus 490. It will be 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then you get 3. So you will get here rupees 3990. This is the amount what will be received at the end of years. So, amount. You must write it in the corner. Amount A is equal to rupees 3,990. I hope you all understood children.